What up guys? Uh, so welcome back. Little change up of a video here. I just kind of want to chill out with you guys, you know, have a chill time. I'm about to do an oil change because it's about time. Um, oil change is up, so that's what we're going to be doing. Peace. What's up? Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. And I kind of just want to have a chat, chill out. Um, you like my fit? You know, <laughs> the lazy day. Got all the parts out. Uh, I got a rag because we're going to need it. Uh, OEM Honda uh, oil filter because they're $10. Don't go get stupid other ones. We're rocking uh, Shell 5W40 uh, diesel oil. Actually, it helps me burn less. We got a 17 for the drain plug. We got a 19 for my lug nuts because we will have to take this tire off for the oil filter. Torque wrench for the wheels, to put them back on, and a funnel. And that's all we're going to need. Um, it's best just to get all your stuff ready and out. I mean, it really saves the headache. So let's do that. The first thing I'm going to do, though, is we're going to turn turn the key on, rotate the tires to the right, because the oil filter is back here, and it's annoying to get to. So we're going to be taking the wheel off. So, in fact, we're going to go do that right now by just, we're going to loosen this up, and we're going to do that, so... So I'm loose right now. Let's do that. And of course, uh, yeah. Okay, got the big guy now. <laughs> Let's loosen this guy up. Yikes. All right. On. So this isn't really a tutorial on how to uh, uh, do an oil change, but I mean, hey, if you got one and you want to know, here you go. Just wanted to do something a little chill. I got some content coming for you guys next week, so stay tuned. It's going to be great for an install. But we, I don't this time, but I still want to get some out. And I kind of just want to talk about the state of the car community and just like, Hey, if you're getting into the car community, what to look out for, what to do, and to not be intimidated, basically. Like, as of lately, I've just, you know, I'm an Instagram fiend. That's my thing. Like, Twitter and TikTok is not. I have a TikTok. I think I have a Twitter. I think it's been hacked, like, a million times, so, like, maybe I don't, but, like, Instagram is my thing, right? And just, obviously, my entire for you is just car stuff. It's just car stuff and big rigs, because <laughs> that's really all I look at on the internet. <laughs> So, that being said, I see a lot of stuff. And a lot of stuff that no one, that I don't like seeing. And it becomes a problem. I hate that thing, by the way. It becomes a problem for people wanting to get in. Because it seems so gatekeepy. And that's what it's become. Holy... And on that note, I'm going to get that off in a minute. Let it cool down. It's the problem with this stupid thing. Once the engine gets hot, it like expands the, you know, threads. Because it's in a, it's like a plastic head or valve cover. It gets hot and then the threads get like Zeus tight. <laughs> and it's so ridiculous. This is not my oil, whoever's it was. Yikes. So we're going to get under here. We're going to get under here and find the drink plug. Hello, drink plug. How are you doing? 
<sighs> broke. Nice. Broke loose. I did not break it. Yeah, that would be a good day. Look at my headers. Look at those, looking all pretty. You never, you never see them anymore, so you gotta admire them when you see them. Get ready, steady, ready. I still got it on my hands, cause that's what we do around here. Dirty hands, clean money. Always got a rag on hand. But like I said, I want to talk about the car community. Like, I see so much stuff online as of everyone, you know, everyone's terminally online anymore. That it just, it's getting ridiculous. <laughs> the gatekeeping in the community is kind of ridiculous. So many people as of recently, and just the last few years, are getting into cars for the wrong reasons. And getting things as a status symbol and not something that like, it's a passion, a love. They just see that it's popular, everyone likes it, so they're like, yeah, okay, I'm a car guy, you know? When in reality, they have the wrong opinion on like, everything. And I'm just coming to say like, obviously, most of the people watching this video are going to be people that are enthusiasts, but just like kind of encourage people that like want to get into cars, do it, you know, but kind of remind them or if you're watching this, like, and you want to get into this stuff, that it's a passion, you know, you're not doing this. You're not doing this for someone else. This is for you. This is a passion that you love. And you want, you want to do it for you, not for anyone else. Because no one else, sorry to burst your bubble here, but no one else cares. I mean, really. After the likes come in, after you get that little bit of endorphins from like, ooh, look at people like my car, it's gone. And the person at the end of the day paying for that is you. No one else. You're paying for it, <laughs> you know? It's an expensive hobby. Um, probably one of the more expensive ones. I'd say the only one I can really think of that's more expensive is racing them. <laughs> and that's still, you know, a car passion, so. Kind of comes hand in hand, don't it? But just just think that through, and if that's something you really want, then it's going to be great for you. But just just know there's so many people out there that are just there to see your downfall, not you at your best. Which that's kind of like everything in life, like at all, and it sucks. Hello, where's the oil at? Am I getting... Goodness, oil is such a... They're starting to scam us with oil. It's like a bag of chips. Where like half the bag is just... <laughs> not chips. It's like oil starting to do that now. What the hell, guys? Ooh, boop, 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 boop. All looped up. Look at that. Nice, clean oil. Let's see if we can get that out. But I don't know, I don't even have much more to say about it. It's just like, don't get caught up in the clicks. You know, you don't have to be into one thing. I was gonna make a full video on this about getting into the car community and I might at some point when my voice doesn't sound like a, I don't know, a something. What's something that sounds bad? I don't know, something, you know? But don't get caught up in some, click you know everyone wants you to like, like only like jdm or you know only like muscle cars and that's ridiculous you know i i know at this point this channel is more sorry i keep hitting you guys goodness it's hard to get in here 
It's like, I know at this point, this channel's more, you know, Honda, because that's what I own, and that's what I, I know very well at this point. But it's not a Honda channel, you know? It's a love for car channel. And people forget that, like, constantly. <clears throat> there we go. The oil filter is back here, so that's why. I usually put a rag in here so it doesn't just drip on my suspension pieces, but I forgot today. Here we go. Honda. The oil doesn't look that bad. But everyone just gets in this mindset of just like, you only have to like this one thing, and it's so toxic anymore, you know? Like, people just look at someone's car and just, for lack of a better term, shit on it. And I'm just getting fed up with it. Like, I'm 21 years old, right? I own my first Honda at 15 years old for, I think I bought it for 200 bucks, right? And I brought it home and I fixed it with two parts. It had a bad battery, bad alternator, so three parts, and a main fuel relay. That was it. And I got it running, okay? That's cool. See, so from then, from 15 to 21, which has been six years, goodness, six years. Okay, anyway, <laughs> it's been six years. I feel like I'm a veteran of the car community just because of how much I've seen. Because it feels like in these six years, car, com car modding, car community has gone just bonkers. And it's really cool to see that. But at the same time, because it's gotten so popular and, you know, everyone wants to like cars too, that it's like, <laughs> it's a status symbol anymore. And everyone thinks it's just about speed or, or how expensive your car is. And it's getting ridiculous. Like, it's to the point now where it's like, if you own a Honda, you're lame. <laughs> and that isn't with everything. I'm just kind of looking on the, the outskirts here. Like, owning a Honda, I really see how nasty it gets. And also, owning a 350, those people are fierce. <laughs> those people are very fierce. Goodness, I keep hitting you guys. Isn't this good content, just me hitting you guys into the car fender? <clears throat> okay. We got it on. Aw, oh, man. Good job. See, you can never... You can never not make the biggest mess, I swear. So, I don't even... I don't have a point to where I'm going with this. I'm just saying, if, if you're getting into cars, be doing it for the right reasons. And try to do it for the love of whatever the hell you want, you know? If you're not into it to go fast, don't do it to go fast. Like, don't let other people dictate what your build is gonna be and don't let other people judge it or do it for others like my white civic out there i'm not sure you guys can see that car i had tons of stuff done to it back in the day um because other people told me they liked it and it wasn't because you know it was something that i i thoroughly enjoyed and it dampened the experience I had of that car because I did that for other people. I mean, I know it's easy to say not to, and I'm not going to do that, but until you get put into that situation, it's a lot of times hard to tell, you know? Peer pressure is a horrible thing, you know? So just, and if you look hard enough, see, the bad apples are the loudest, you know? <laughs> the people that shit on you and shit on other cars are always going to be at the forefront of everything. That's like everything in life, you know? And you just, you can't let them get to you. Um, you got to keep your head low and you're going to find those people that you, you click with, you know, find those people you can call family. 
that car community you like, you know? So when getting your first car, or thinking you might want this certain car, research it, go test drive them. Test drive multiple cars, find out what you like, what you want, and who cares what other people think. You want a BMW? <laughs> go buy a BMW. But don't be stupid and think, well, they're unreliable, but mine won't be, because, you know, and again, I can make, you can make fun of other cars. I'm not saying that. Like, don't be a square, but don't be an asshole, <laughs> you know? Like, I will make fun of BMWs, even though I think they're kind of sick. You know, having a BMW would be cool. I just can't afford one, and that's the reality of it. So if you want a BMW, and you want to spend lots of money on it, or, you know, whatever, you have money, do it. Or even if you don't, just have another car, you know? Don't do what other people say all the time, but do be smart about it. Research your topics and the cars that you like, and just do it. You know, you want a 300ZX for your first car? That might be too much for you, but I'm not saying don't do it, you know? You want a Challenger? For some reason? Just do it. Who gives a crap? That some EcoBoost Mustang guy will get on there and be like, "Oh, you have a stock Hemi, man! I'm gonna, I could blow you out of the water." Stock. It's like, who cares? The only guy that cares there is the insecure Mustang guy. You know what I mean? And don't fall for the traps of like, "Well, oh, JDM is better or or Muscle is better." Like, I love all of that. <laughs> I want a muscle car, and I promise you now. There will be a muscle car in this channel, and I might get a lot of hate for it. <laughs> Just because where this channel has been, has been all Honda, you know? So you have a chance of, you know, losing audience. But again, even though I make videos about what I do with my cars and show my passion, I'm not doing this for other people, even you guys. I'm doing this for me. And I do this to share my passion with everyone, you know? Like, this is what I love, this is what I like doing. And might as well share what I know, which is very limited, to everyone. And learn along the way. That is the best thing for cars. That is the best thing for life. Ooh. Man, my shoulder popped out. No, the camera. <clears throat> We're back. Uh, camera fell off my head, so <laughs> time to fill it up now, though. But again, I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just saying, like, be yourself. You know, car community is beautiful once you can get past the loudest idiots of the group. Now, if you're into takeovers, I will judge you. Takeovers are stupid, immature, and dumb. Okay. I did get this loose finally. <laughs> I hate these. I need to get a metal one or something. <clears throat> Where are you going to put this wheel on? Um, take the jacks out, lower her, and then fill her up, and we're done, guys. But just get in the car community because you want to, you're passionate, and you have a love for cars, not for anything else. Not for women or guys, even. Not for attention. Not for clout, which is attention, but worse. Not for any of that. That's not what it's for, you know? And don't let anyone judge you, man. I'm off my soapbox now. So just just do that for me, if anything. If you get anything out of this video, just chill in with me. Do that, you know? And don't drink and drive, because that is, like, the worst thing ever. I hate it when people do it. Drives me crazy. <clears throat> like, I'm not a square. Like, you know, have fun. But, like, don't put others at risk. What are, you do what are you doing? You know? And same thing with going fast. Like, I get people on my videos sometimes, like, you cross the yellow line. It's like, I get it. I do. I really do. Some people think I'm just trying to be a menace, and it's not true. I don't cross yellow lines when 
I don't cross yellow lines when I can't see around a corner. I don't do that. I'll cross yellow lines a little bit halfway when, you know, I can fully see. I'm safe about it. I, you know, the, what is it, the three quarter rule? It's like, you know, always the three quarter rule, if you don't know, by the way, if, if this is even right, this is how I've done it and it's worked for me. If you do go into the other lanes, even if you could see, unless it's completely straight, there's like one corner on my back roads that I know of that it's completely visible. I'll go into the other lane completely because the corner is really slow without it. And I think that's the corner that people get all pissy at me with. But it's like, the three quarter rule is like, go into, the, if you're going into the opposite lane, always have an escape route. Like, don't be all the way in the other lane. If something were to happen, someone comes out of nowhere, you didn't see someone, you could always get back into your lane safely and not crash, you know. So, never be, just be completely over there to where if someone comes, you're screwed and you're either hitting them or going off the road. That's a no-no for everybody involved. Completely, no one wins that scenario. And never go full 10 tenths on the, on the street. That is what for racetracks are for. Now I do have a lot to say about that, about racetracks, you know, not being, not many available to the public and being really expensive. So it's like, take it to the racetrack. Okay, give me the money to get to the racetrack. You know, make it free, like build more of them. So I do, have, I do have things to say about that, but at the same time, never drive 10 tenths on the street, ever. It's not smart for you, your safety, for everybody else's safety on the road. It's a big one, I like to say to everyone. Because I've, all my buddies, almost all of them. Well, the one in my video, installing these coilovers on this car, that you saw for like a split second in that video. He was in the cars when I met him. Um, about like seven, eight years ago. Oh gosh, getting old, I swear. But uh, all my other buddies, every other one of them, couldn't give a shit about cars, like at all. They did not care. It was a transportation. But as I do, they all have cool cars now, and they all go for cruises, and we all just mess around on the back roads, and it's fun. But none of us ever go full 10 tenths on the street. It's just not safe. But that is something I had to teach them, because as a new car enthusiast, you start getting your, you start getting confident, you want to go faster. But there's a point where, no, you don't want to do that. Because when you're going 10 tenths, you're going to the very edge of your ability. And you're going to that fine line between control and loss of control. Being smooth but in control, but almost out of it. That's when you are at your fastest. That's when you're in that groove, that you're in your zone. But when you're on a public street, dogs, animals, people, other cars, driveways, postmen, you know, which apparently aren't people. <laughs> Since I, whatever, you know, everything is different, you know, things can throw you off that rhythm and, and gosh forbid you make a mistake yourself, what happens when you make that mistake? You go off the road, you crash, you lose your baby, you lose your life, you kill someone, you're in jail, you know, things go bad <laughs> so fast. These are torque to spec. So the people that are watching this and they're like, oh my gosh, he uses an impact on his wheels. These sorta. I do not over tighten them. Bingo. Well, let's just test them all out. Ma'am. Bam. 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 80 foot pounds, folks. That's what that is. I want a digital one so bad. <laughs> I 
We can put this guy away to sleep. Oh, I forget how it gets. Like that. Ah. Aha! Come here. Get over here. Hope you guys enjoy this little chill video. If you guys like this, well, hell, we'll do more of these. This won't get a lot of views, like guaranteed, but the people that are watching, you guys are homies, you guys are real. And that's you guys watching right now and are at this point are literally the only reason that I do this the whole YouTube thing. Sure, I really love making videos. I really love doing reviews, love driving, love sharing my passion. But the people that care and the people that listen, you guys are the homies. <laughs> you guys are the reason it's all worth it. Even if it's one person that watches this and they're like, yeah, that's why I want to get in the cars or, or just needed to know how to do an oil change on their Civic. Because again, don't be afraid to ask if you're new. You know, you might be afraid to ask how to do an oil change because you'll get made fun of like, oh, you don't know how to do that. Everyone starts somewhere. So tell them to shut up. <laughs> Everyone. I didn't, know how to I didn't know how to change oil at one point. Sure, it might have been when I was like eight or seven. But I still didn't know how. You got to start somewhere. You know, everyone starts somewhere. That's why you're nervous. But don't be afraid to ask questions. And if you want to ask questions, leave a comment down below. Pretty sure anyone watching this video would be cool enough to give you a response in a nice manner. If not, I will call them out or delete it. Or DM me on Instagram. I'll leave it right here. You know, it's always in my bio on my YouTube. It's always everywhere. Message me, you know. I will gladly answer your questions. That, again, is why I do this. Spreading the love of cars, you know. It could be people that already love them and they're watching them. You know, someone that has an 8th gen and they want to see someone else relive the experiences. Someone that wants an 8th gen. Someone that just wants to get in the cars but doesn't know where the hell to start because there's so many options. Literally, like the sky is the limit. And money, money is a limit. That's why I think Honda though. Like I will shout out our boys at Honda. Hondas are affordable, dude. Like I won't say they're affordable. I'm still baking my bank, like making the worst financial decisions ever modding cars, but it's my passion. I'm going to do what I want to do. But I can at least mod it, unlike some other cars. Really? You're still like nothing? Come on, get in there. There we go. I could have just used my other hand, but that's for weak lanes. Okay, just check it. <laughs> okay, so probably about a half a quart more. Let's try that out. Don't overfill your oil. It's not a fun time. Like a little bit's fine, but like too much, just not a fun time. <laughs> Wait, why did I throw that over there? Come here. I'm loving this car, guys. And again, on Tuesday, I get a new modification for this car. One person knows. Not because I told them, but because they just know. So if you're watching that, you know. But uh, no one else does. Uh, that's coming on Tuesday. So by the time you guys see this video, I'll have it and probably be installing it. And you guys are going to get it the next week. So suck it, guys. <laughs> I need to spread my content out somehow since work is been keeping me busy. I'm glad to be back on the grind. I'm glad to be making videos again. Tell you what. My goodness, guys. We are still low. I tell you what, good thing about these K20s, even if you are on the bottom dot, 
you still got so much oil in here. I mean, you've seen, I poured, I've poured basically this whole thing in here now. Like, we're dead gone, basically. We're, where are we? I don't know, I think we're like right here. I had like half a cord. And we're not even above the last dot. So, I mean, hell, if you're at the last dot, you still got like, at least three quarts in that thing, man. At least. So don't fret it. Stop throwing this thing, goodness. Hey, we're making progress. We're at the last dot. You guys definitely can't see that, but we're at the last dot there. Goodness, flinging it on me. It is so clear. So clear. I probably didn't even have to change this oil because I have to fill it up with oil so often. <laughs> but. And that's the last little bit. Whole gallon. Bye bye. $25. Probably gonna have to get more out of the back seat. <laughs> yes, we are. Good thing I came prepared. Because good thing I own a Honda and I always have oil on me. Wow, look at that. <laughs> oh man. Tell you what, though, some stereotypes that people make fun of your cars for, it's true, you know. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta give in to them, you know. Not everything that people make fun of you for is, like, malicious. You just, you know, shooting the shit, you know. Yeah, we need quite a bit more. I mean, not tons, but just definitely need more than this. It's probably getting really close. See, I'm digging it slow. Some people call it too slow, but better safe than sorry, right? Do a little jig. Let it come in. Let it settle. And I'm impatient, so that's enough. Oh boy, we're almost there. We're almost there, boys and girls. Even I think my girl audience is like 2%. <laughs> I think it's crazy, though. But, I mean, welcome. If you're that 2% watching this, you're cool. Stop throwing this. Wait, wait, wait. do the jig. Didn't do the jig. Doing the jig. Got to make sure the camera's recording. Looking at reflections, seeing the light. Because this camera sucks and it likes to just stop. Just a splash, boys. We are done. Just a splash. And we're out of here. Throw it over there. Yeah, look at that. That was a little more than a splash. But that's okay. Again, a little bit over is not going to kill you. Or it definitely won't kill you. It won't kill the car. <laughs> yeah, imagine just putting a splash more oil and it just kills you. Like, not the car. <laughs> it just kills you. You get in the car, start it up, you die. And that would suck. Oh, guys. I could put a splash more. Wow. This thing puts so much more oil than I thought. I, I always forget that. Like, when you drain it completely... Including the oil filter, how much more needs to go in. And also, don't fret. If you do an oil change, if you do an oil change, like completely like this, and then you check it like the next day or the day after, and it's way lower than you need it to be, don't fret. It might just be the oil like circling, circling, cycling through the oil filter and all that fun stuff. So. 
don't panic completely, y'all. Bingo, boys. Look at that. And that is an oil change. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little chill relaxation oil change we did with me. Hope it was somewhat entertaining Hear me blabble on. I just, I enjoy making videos for you guys and wanted to do something a little different, you know. Not just mod installs because I can't afford to go out and do mods all the time. I'm not, not a rich boy, you know. And I also have limited access to cars to review. I've gotten some really cool ones that I can't believe I've gotten. But still, I mean, there are a limit to things. I mean, a lot of people don't let you drive their cars. <laughs> and I understand that. I rarely let anyone drive this, and it's not nothing that special. You're special. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching me do a fresh oil change on my girl here, Dirty. Um... Hit like, hit subscribe if you want to see more. If this is your first video, it's a little different than normal. So tell me how you guys like it. And I will see you guys hopefully next week with the next part. I'm very excited. And I will see you guys later. Peace out.